I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. Hello, everyone's or ones. I am here for Black Lightning Season 2, Episode 4. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. So, y'all, I was kind of confused. I was like, what's going on here? And we got, you know, um, Jennifer, she's going to a dance with East. And I was like, when did y'all start going together? But I was like, okay, we're going to roll with this. You know, they taking pictures and everything. And then Khalil come popping up like, what's going on here? He get the dog on his... Knocking everybody out with his little, this looks like Spider-Man. But anyway, he get to knocking everybody out and knock mama and daddy and this out and knock Issa out. And Jennifer's like, oh no, you're not going to be knocking out my date and my whole family. She get to beating him upstairs. Like, as they was going upstairs, she was beating on him until they ended up into her room. And then she's like, oh, I can't do this no more. Well, she was in a session with Maxine Shaw, attorney at law. And she's trying to help her control her powers, like, take all this energy and, like, bring it into you and, like, make it go into this box. But, like, I don't know what it is about Khalil, but he is, like, a very strong trigger with her. And, like, it seems like this is when her powers be, like, always, like, popping out when she thinks about Khalil. Because I guess that was her, like, first love and all. But, like, Maxine Shaw turned it loud was like, girl, you doing good. Like, you doing like, a lot better than most people. But, like, who is this Khalil person that you keep on speaking of? But she don't really want to talk about him right now. It's like, you're a lot understand. Because Khalil, he didn't change. He didn't th think that Tobias and gave him his legs back. But Tobias just only gave you an extra power. Your legs was already working. You just didn't know it. So, Detective Dude, I'm going to get his name together, y'all. Just give me a minute. So, he's in there interrogating Tobias. Like, how have you stayed so young for all these years? He said, well, you know, a vegan diet and a little bit of yoga never hurt anybody. That's how I stay so young. Plus, I stay out of the light. I've been telling y'all black folks for years, stay away from that chicken and watermelon Kool-Aid diet. But y'all don't want to listen. But I like, fried chicken is so good. Like... Don't be dogging my fried chicken. I mean, I know it is not healthy for me, but it is really, really good, especially Frenchies here in Houston. Even though I think they close them down, that is some good fried chicken. But anyways, he's saying, you know, that's how I stay nice and young, you know, vegan diet, no sunlight, you know, do a little bit of yoga. You should try it out some. He's like, I'm just letting you know that, you know, it's awful funny how all this stuff is coming out, you know, your old partner end up dead. The only dude that was you know, had access to the evidence about Alvin Pilsen's murder end up dead and burnt up. That information is gone. All this is turning up for you, ain't it? He was like, it's a shame what's going on in Freeland. Now, y'all, I said this right then and there. He is working to clear his name so they can't get him on double jeopardy. He cleared it right now, so maybe in 15 minutes, it's like, okay, we have an actual factual video that we found of you. Saying your first, last, and middle name, birth, and your birthday, and your social security number while you looking at the camera, killing this man, and we can't do nothing to you because it's double jeopardy. I already seen that coming right then and there. I was like, ain't no way in the world that y'all didn't arrest it, Tobias, like that, that easily, and he ain't covered all his bases. You couldn't tell me otherwise. So, Anissa says she's been out here robbing Hood because she want to help the people. But she doesn't realize her helping the people was putting a target on the church's back, putting a target on the clinic's back. And I was like, I don't want this pastor to keep on looking to Anissa to be out here robbing Hood so she can be like helping bring in money and he get a little bit greedy. I just don't want that to happen. But she was like, Dad, relax. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm bulletproof. He's like, yes, when you know it's coming. What if somebody just sneak up on you? She's like, I'm basically, she's like, I'm a grown woman. He's like, we got rules to this. Like, who made the rules? Like, it ain't like there's a superhero rule, but he's like, I made the rules, okay? So, if you're going to live up under my roof, then you're going to listen to the rules. She's like, all right, then. I'm up out of your roof. So, I was like, oh, she leaving now? Um, I really don't want that, but I was like, maybe it's time because they them two was starting to butt heads, and I just did not want that for them. Like, go away, stay with over Uncle Ben and Gammy for like a few days, so y'all can both clear your head. Y'all both sad about this, and y'all don't want to admit it that y'all are so much alike. 
Jeffrey didn't doesn't realize that all the things that this was doing, that's what he was doing when he first got his powers. So, he don't realize that yet, but he will. So, yo, Prince Boo showing up five minutes late after Jefferson had already squashed the fight between two dudes. Had them seen how bad hate is because when you hate, it's more affecting you than the person that you hate. No, had them shake hands and everything. Then diffuse the whole situation. Oh, Johnny come lately. Prince will come showing up talking about what's going on. He's like, I got this. If I asked for your opinion, I would, if I wanted your opinion, I would ask. But I was like, uh-uh, we don't do that. No, uh uh-uh, uh uh-uh. See, you messing up right then and there. And Jefferson was like, I know you didn't. So who started this? He was like, that dude over there is like, all right, you were expelled. You served, you were suspended. And he's like, hold on, hold on, we don't really do that around here. He's like, this is my school. I'm going to run it the way I want to. So, like, Jeffrey then goes in there and is like, look here, dude. Don't you ever in your whole entire life disrespect me like that from them kids again. He's like, are you threatening me? He's like, yeah, that's a threat. No, no, it's the threat and a promise. That makes sense. He was like, well, this is the way I'm going to run those, my school. Ain't no kids going to be getting shot, kidnapped, or overdosed, overdosing on green light. I was like, oh, so you ta- you mean to tell me had you been in there, you would have been able to defuse the situation where there was guns involved. Khalil was out here shooting folks with his dog on a tranquilizer, knockout ne- needle. Did you was going to be able to do something? Is that what you're telling me, sir? Because I don't think that's what it was. I can't stand that dude right there. I kind of, sort of wanted, you know, Jeffson to do something like make him kind of have like a little heart attack or something. But I was like, no, nah, he ain't about that. Oh, if who, Chad, I would have loved it. <laughs> and this had it came in and thunderclapped him into next week or to the next city or something. Thunderclapped him somewhere. I was so mad at him right then and there. Girl, Chad, I couldn't. So y'all, Dr. Trace out here waking up the pie people so they can die so she can get data on them. Like, she did not gonna, I don't know what she did to the little, make you, make them be pie peoples. But like, dude is waking up and like his temperature either rose or fell, I don't know. But he ended up, I think it like, he like froze or something like that. And she was sitting there looking like, yes. <laughs> I had this really creepy look on her face and she was like, Chad, what do you do? Um. Lynn was like, Chad, what are you doing? She's like, they all gonna die. So, I mean, we all dying, but these are these people are really gonna die. So, I just need to get this data on them. But speaking of which, i seen some samples that you had, and it looked like that, you know, the samples are all related, and they got these powers. Chad, just wait till we get a hold of them. We can do a lot of poking, a lot of prodding, a lot. And Lynn's looking like, oh, no, hell no, you will not be poking and prodding on my family. I mean, if she, if looks could kill, Dr. Jace would have been dead but she was looking too happy as that man was dying just too happy so y'all one of the dudes that anissa was stealing from goes to tobias at the courtesy like i know this is your city and i don't want to be spilling blood in your city i'm like so y'all got it uh, ethics code like this is your city and i'm not gonna be killing people in your city unless i have permission from you but anyway he's like somebody been stealing our you know money she got powers like oh so that's how the clinic got the money i was like see and this is what i tell you you was going to put the church and the clinic in danger. Yeah, we needed the clinic, but you out here doing some foolishness. So it's like, all right, you feel free. You know, kill her if you want, however you want. But I need you to get some cameras, some infrared, and some face skin and all that stuff outside the clinic. Because I know Black Lightning going to show up. And we need to find out who he is. He's been walking in these streets too long. I need him dead, and I need him dead like 30 years ago. So y'all, they scan in the clinic and all that stuff. And I was like, hey, at one point, nobody looked up and saw them two standing up there. I know it's dark and all, but like, I be like noticing my surroundings. I don't know what that person over here doing. Like, I'm nosy like that, but I'm not nosy to where I'm going to ask you what you're doing. I'm nosy as I'm rolling by and being curious. But anyway, they see this woman go into the clinic pregnant and five minutes later come out and she not pregnant. It's like, okay, she didn't, she didn't did something. So Gabby outside fighting on her and she is getting the best of Gabby. I'm like, Gabby, you ain't had nothing to knock her out with. Like all that technology you got, you ain't had not even a stun gun to knock her out. Because she not going to, after she was fighting Gabby and somebody trying to help her out because they thinking some old defenseless woman is getting beat up by this man. She not going to knock him off his Dog on the motorcycle and goes off into the, well, not the sunset, it was night out. Like, went off into the, the distance. 
while um, Black Lightning and Thunder, they inside trying to get people out. They detonating bombs. Um, Thunder, she done threw herself on a bomb and flew up in the air. The people looking like straight up like that would have been a time that you would have thought you would have seen somebody with a camera ready to put this on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff and make it go viral. But that ain't really happened. But you know, wasn't nobody hurt because you know they was able to defuse the you know you know situation. But at the same time now. They didn't got a picture with Black Lightning look like. But I was like, Black Lightning looks like Jefferson in a suit. Like, it's just covering his eyes. Now, I don't know if it's me, but in the eye region, Jefferson looks like Henrietta from 911. And I know I can't be the only one to think of that. So, y'all, they decided they gonna homeschool Jennifer because, you know, you can... You didn't already broke like four laptops with your powers. You have not been able to control your powers. It's not good for you to go back to Garfield, okay? So we gonna homeschool you. We know you've been working with Maxine Charles Turner Law and you know you're doing good, baby, but it's just not safe for you right now. And then on top of that, the lady I work for, she trying to like get a hold of y'all so she can be poking and prodding on y'all. And I'm really not trying to kill another person right now. So we just want you to be safe right now, okay? She's like, Jimmy was like, I didn't did all of this. Did everything y'all want, and now y'all gonna make me stay at home? Really? <clears throat> so she in the back of school, and her and Khalil sit down there and talk. And I was like, I feel sorry for Jennifer because she ain't asked for none of this. She sure didn't. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all these, leave a comment below. And I want to thank my subscribers. If you're new, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. If you've been, you know, looking at a few videos, like, oh, she's kind of funny. I kind of like what she's talking about. Welcome. Feel free to subscribe as well. This is Lady C signing off. Have a good one.